we're going to take a look at how to turn on iCloud Drive on your iPad. Apple has a great support page for this. So I'm going to start out actually by going to Safari and I'm going to Google iCloud for iPad. And this first link, that's going to be a good one for us. It's got support.apple.com. Recently updated, you see there January 28th. It's a good link for us. And then there's just a few steps here. So you can always refer back to this as a reminder. So here's the steps that I'm going to walk you through. The first one being making sure that your iPad is up to date. So we're going to go to the gray settings wheel. Mine just happens to be down in my dock right now, the one on the right. And then we're going to choose um, general. That's probably already selected for you when you open settings. If it's not, just tap general there on the left. And you can touch software update. And this tells me that I am on 13.4.1. As of today, May 11th, uh, 2020, that is as up-to-date as you can be. And then I have on automatic updates. The devices really work a lot better if you keep them up-to-date. I'm going to click back to go back to general. And then our next step is going to be to sign into iCloud. I'm signed in right now, so you can see near the top left-hand corner of my screen, you see my name and Apple ID. This is where you'd be prompted to sign in if I were not signed in already. And then you can look here at iCloud and see all these different things that are toggled on. And this lets me um, share these things among all of my devices. And by having these things on, when I get a new device and I sign in, my new device is basically going to look just like this old device. And then step three is thinking about storage. So I'm going to touch manage storage here at the top. I pay for some additional storage. Um, if you don't want to pay for storage and your iPad is, um, your iCloud is filled up, you could move photos to Google Drive. There's a great Google Photos app that you can download that just takes those uh, images right off of your iPad for you. Also, your West Virginia State Department Microsoft account, that's also a great place to save things. But if you want to use iCloud, this is where you get it connected on your iPad.